Start with a simple sketch, and end up with the home you've always dreamed of. Every dream becomes real when you use the right tools, and those tools are right here. AutoCAD and 3DS Max. Hi friends, welcome to this video. Before we get started, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. In this tutorial, I'm going to design a plan like this one in AutoCAD. As you know, in AutoCAD you can access tools either by typing the first letters of their names or by selecting them directly. To begin, I'll use the rectangle tool. You can either pick it from here or just type the first letters and hit enter. Based on these dimensions, I'll draw the rectangle. I press tab to enter the rectangle's width, and finally hit enter. Now, I'll select Explode to separate the rectangle's sides. Using Offset, I'll create parallel lines at a distance of 20 cm. With Extend, I'll lengthen this line. For the ceiling, I'll offset by 30 centimeters. Then, I'll offset by 4 meters to create the first floor. And another 20 centimeters for the wall. Next, I'll offset 295 centimeters for the first floor ceiling plus an additional 30 centimeters. Now, I'll use trim to remove the extra lines. Finally, I'll complete the upper ceiling using offset and trim. Alright, let's move on to the ground floor. As you can see, the first line has a 40 cm gap. Right at the start, I'll trim it so it won't interfere with the upper floor. I'll select this line, and relative to it, trim the rest. The next distance is 2 meters, then 30 centimeters, and another one is 20 centimeters. So, first I'll offset 20 centimeters, then two offsets of 30 centimeters, and finally another 20 centimeters. For the entrance door, I'll offset 120 centimeters, and at the end, another 20 centimeters. I'll also offset a bit from the top downwards for the doors and windows. Now, I'll take the measurements in this part. To extend, I'll draw a temporary line. 
and once that's done, I'll delete it. Then, I'll finish the extends. Next, I'll trim these sections. Only one part is left out. That's the lower part of the ground floor window. Its size is 60 centimeters. So I'll offset 60 centimeters and trim relative to these two lines. Now, let's move on to 3DS Max. In the Customize menu, under Unit Setup, make sure the metric option is enabled. I've set mine to centimeters, but you can also set it to meters, though centimeters work better. Now, go to the File menu, then Import, navigate to the folder where your file is saved, and import it. In the pop-up window, set file units to meters. I don't need to change any of the other options, so I'll just import it. To make sure the scale is correct, I'll use the tape tool. Yes, the dimensions are accurate. I'll delete one of the two drawings. Rotate the remaining one. And move it to the zero, zero point. In the Snap options, I'll only keep Vertex checked. Now, I'll start by drawing with Rectangle, then apply Extrude to them. I'll activate the Layers panel and turn off the AutoCAD layer. Next, I'll select everything and change their color to gray. Now it's time for Extrude. If I use a negative value, the extrusion will go backward. I can also drag the extrusion modifier onto the other rectangles to speed things up. I'll scale this down a bit and move it back. I'll push it 20 centimeters backward. I'll also move this rectangle slightly back. This one is just like the previous two. I'll set this 1 to 11 meters and move it back 5 meters.
This wall will also be 5 meters. These walls, I'll make them 20 centimeters thick. These ones all set to 1 meter and push them back. This wall I'll make 280 centimeters so that all together they add up to 5 meters. Alright, now I'll draw the cross walls by copying these walls. I'll adjust their size so they fit properly. For the ground floor, I'll also copy this wall. And I'll make two more copies for the back of the house. I brought in the windows and the door, placed them in the right spots, and used scale to fit them. The door is fixed, but the windows are left, we'll adjust them together. Okay, the top window is fixed. For the ground floor, I need to delete two of the windows. Then I'll use editable poly to fix the window properly. Now it's time for the terrace doors. I want to place two sliding doors here. I'll select these walls and hide the rest. I'll also use scale to fix their size. Ah, I forgot this wall, let me add it.
Now I'll take a copy of this door and then mirror it. Now I'll draw two rectangles in the spots where the doors are, and then give them an extrude. I want to use boolean to cut out the door openings in the wall. Alright, I'll convert this wall to pro boolean and use subtract to create the opening. Next, I'll add two walls in the middle of the house. I'll also place a camera here to set up the view. I'll complete this scene with different objects, and in the next part I'll show it to you. In that part, we'll go over the materials for the scene and add the necessary render elements. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you in the next part, so for now, goodbye.